Hello there. This is Isix. And this, my friends, is Avedon 3, the Warborn. And yes, welcome, welcome, welcome to this is a, uh, a, uh, my, I should probably uh, turn the sound down a little bit for my, my, own, my, own, my own amusement here. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, da -da -da, let's go quick here, grab snow. Let's go with quiet. Alright. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, Avedon 3, The Warborn. This is actually the first time of uh, me opening the game. This is a first impressions video of sorts. Uh, I've been granted, ooh, sparklies. It's like little gears or spiny things floating out of the mouse here. I've been uh, granted a, uh, a, a, a preview copy from, uh, from Spiderweb Software and all the those cool, cool folks there uh, to have a uh, try out and, uh, you know, and show you guys a little bit what's up. I'm not getting paid for this. So I only thing I've gotten is the beta version of the game here. Uh, I should probably uh, look up when they, they, everything is officially happening. Anyway, so uh, I should also point out one: I am a big fanboy of the of the company Spyro Software. I've played pretty much all the games. I might have missed the last Gene Forge, but uh, you know. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't actually finished uh, Avadon Two yet. So there might be some things that can be spoilery for me, but the good thing about their games is that uh, even if you're not familiar with the world, they're very good about introducing you uh, into it, usually, and hopefully that'll be the case today. So, uh, instructions. Let's look at this here. Uh, Avedon 3, characters. So, the, so it's basically the whole rundown of all the various bits of information, but uh, we'll hopefully be looking at that. These little arrows are a little small, but that's fine. Uh, I have giant eyes to which to see them, so that's good. Ooh, medals. This is like uh, achievements and such you can get. Out of the nest. Secret metal. Hmm. All of them are secrets. Bring priest to the bar bars and woods with mineral bloodshed. Ooh, a dragon. Yay! Oh no! Kill a dragon! <gasps> oh my. Hmm. Way to hands loyalty. Alright, well, let's uh, get started, shall we? So uh, we got uh, several character classes to sort of bink out of this here. Hmm. Give me a little drink here. Uh, we got five types at this, this point. So welcome to Avedon. First, select one of the five character types to the left. Use the text box to change your name. When you're ready, press the OK button. OK, I will. And I, sh I shall. So uh, the different classes uh, can be of either general, uh, gender here. Uh, when I uh, previously have uh, played around in Avedon here, uh, I was a female sorcerer, I believe. Uh, Blade Master is a true warrior. He is the most comfortable in a massive suit of plate armor, wielding a sword. I'm not knocking my microphone over. Uh, <laughs> wielding a, a, a sword and shield, a huge halberd, striding boldly into the crowd of foes and sending them flying with mighty blows. Blood Blade Masters are not subtle. Blade Masters are natural leaders. Their war cries can strengthen their allies and weaken their foes. They can also challenge enemies, keeping them away from fragile members of your group. Neato. Then you got the Shadow Walkers. So these guys kind of look like ninjas, except they have helmets on, so it's a little different, I guess. <laughs> shadow Walkers are warriors of the shadows. The shadow knows. Uh, they uh, count on cunning invasions, slipping through the gods of their enemies and delivering lethal blows. They can attack with blades, throw in razor discs, and pots of obnoxious and deadly chemical substances, and then vanish in nothing air. So they are ninjas. <laughs> shadow walkers have many tricks to evade, stun, poison, and heavily damage foes. Also, shadow walkers can pick locks and disarm traps. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. Uh, so shaman. The shaman has uh, dedicated his life to nature, and, and nature, er, uh, uh, in return, has rewarded him with great power. Yeah, you know, I hope he has that responsibility. Uh, he can use his connection to the wilds to heal and bless his allies, and when angered, he can call wind, lightning, and fire to devastate those who challenge him. A shaman is rarely alone. He can call wolves or eventually drakes to serve and protect him. Also, he has the unique ability to heal wounded allies. Neato! Hmm. Gotta make sure to keep myself hydrated here. Alright, so Sorcerer. Uh, the Sorcerer has decayed his, uh, <laughs> desiccated, no, uh, dedicated his life to the Master of the Arcane Arts. Uh, the Fragile in Battle? Uh, yeah, it does change the, uh, yeah, don't, 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 don't the words there. Uh, he's made up for it uh, with the ability to summon forth clouds of fire, lightning on ice, obliterating his foes. And that is not all. A Sorcerer can cloud the minds of foes and potentially cause it to fight for him. He can bless allies and cast enemies. 
He can even use spells to pick locks and disarm traps. Neat. And then we've got the Tinker Mage. Tinker Mage is a mechanical master. Only uses skills uh, to make powerful weapons and construct turrets to destroy foes. A Tinker Mage can shoot lethal razor discs from his uh, wrist flinger and disarm traps and pick locks with great ease. Uh, the Tinker Mage can make a deadly turret and then use his projectiles to pull foes into uh, range and freeze them in place. Applied engineering at its finest. That sounds pretty cool. Hmm. You know, I am very tempted to go with this one here. Hmm, Harmon Clantha. But you know what? I, I so rarely go warrior guy in these kind of games here. I think for you guys, for this whole preview here, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to go hit, hit things. Ah. Uh, we're going to call this guy Blort. Blort the Warrior. Let's go, Blort. Uh, let's go normal. Uh, this isn't the first time I played these kind of games, but uh, don't know quite what I'm getting into. Uh, the game starts quite easily and becomes a challenge as you get close to the end. Well, uh, torment is the, other, the ultimate challenge. You can need to say use every tricks and fully utilize every ability to defeat your vicious foes. You can actually regain their strength and battle more slowly. Also, friendly fire is enabled. Most of your area of effect spells will affect your allies. Oh, that's kind of crazy. I kind of like that. It's, uh, I remember the uh, old... Uh, uh, games there of, um, what you call it, uh, Exiles. Like, yeah, cast a fireball, and everyone, including your friends, is all now on being exploded. Hooray! Uh, Exiles, uh, the sort of the, one of the really early series this, uh, by Spiderweb Software. Some same people that did this game. Check them out, guys. Uh, all right, so. So we got a castle here. We got some sieging going on. We got Blort here, kind of being all, I guess, I had attention while all this happens. And you got uh, these people fleeing the disaster. You got uh, the guy with the robes there. Yeah, he's leading his flock of, of, of uh, hunchback people. And we got this guy who's obviously toting around a small coffin or a chest full of his stuff. Anyway, you are a hand of Avadon, a mighty warrior trusted to defend the pact. The pact is an alliance of five nations band together for safety. The far lands, enemies of the pact, surrounded on all sides. These are nations of barbarians, raiders, titans. Faded, jealous empires, all waiting for a sign of weakness. I don't know about you, but this looks like a sign of weakness here. The pact had one purpose, survival, by crushing the far lands and busting them, and keeping them weak and divided. Uh, this alliance functioned for centuries. Then the Age of Chaos began. The far lands band together and attacked in unison, pouring over the borders and inflicting enormous devastation. For three years, you have fought to hold back the hordes. Armies have fallen. Cities have burned. Once, the pact being this weak uh, would be unthinkable. The pact had a protector, determined to root out, uh, out those who would weaken it. Avedon, the Black Fortress. Uh, warriors of Avedon, such as you, watched over the five nations of the pact. When they, anyone acted to harm the peace and, tra and tranquility of the pact, uh, Avedon destroyed them. Its power was without limits. Its word was law. Also, uh, note, this is probably the most dramatic I'm going to get as far as my crazy voices. This uh, little a bit of play here, because I remember how much that destroyed my throat when I was doing trying to do crazy voices for everybody. But I like doing a little bit of the dramatic here. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, where are we? <clears throat> Avedon has watched over the pact for three centuries. Its warriors wield the finest weapons. Its wizards are allowed to learn the most powerful spells. And the keeper of the Black Fortress, Redbeard, directed them all. Then Avedon was nearly destroyed to surprise attack. Its warriors were hunted down. Redbeard was driven out. Without Avedon's guidance and protection, the pack struggled to stay strong and united. Hmm. So it's a bad time for everybody. Alright, so we got a little, a little, like, hidden fortress here. Cool. You are one of the few, the, those few fighting to help Avedon survive. You are a hand of Avedon, a warrior and enforcer. Your authority is almost without li limit. Your word is law. You are in one of the most violent lands. You are on the border with Camaria, one of the far lands, full of stone fortresses and brutal warriors. You hunt the hostile Camarians as best you can without reinforcing supplies or guidance from Avedon. It kind of sucks. Because it's hard work. And we don't get new swords. Drat. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, you have just woken up in your quarters. You are stationed in Camp Nightshade, one of Avedon's few remaining small fortresses on the border with the enemy far lands. You are bruised and exhausted from constant patrols and skirmishes, but rest is unlikely. It is time to rise and receive your order of the day. 
uh, risking all to hold back the unending waves of invaders. Rise and shine, Blot. Rise and sh wake up and smell the ashes. All right, we're loading something. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, the family map. Tell you about them. Groovy. So we got our guy here. Little uh, keyboard action here. Uh, so we got uh, our inventory. We got a tunic, got a dagger, and we have a pants. We finally have a decent pair of pants. Take them off, but yeah, they actually do give you a little bit of a armor here. Uh, it's an awkward fit, but the cloak will uh, prepare you for the harsh Khmerian winter. Time to go out and look for something to do. Yes, nobody is watching you now. One day, you may have to answer to Avedon for your actions or lack, th lack of them. To open the door, search the box. Hmm. I have 100 coins. Okay. Alright, so I'm here. Uh, here's all my various stats. I got some uh, skills. I got some battle skills. And I got some utility skills, and I got efficiency skills. Hmm. Groovy. And the various resistances, armor levels, dexterity, various things like that. I'm apparently not very smart, but Blort doesn't need no brains. Uh, you roll out of bed, ready for another day of war. As a hand, you have a lot of freedom. You can scout, you can grab some soldiers and raid a Camarian settlement. You can even check in with your commander and see if she is, has guidance for you. You haven't received orders, let alone supplies or reinforcements for ever done in months. Your job is to do all you can with what you, little you have. As you wake up and your vision unblurs, you see that someone left something for you in the night. It's a rare present, pleasant surprise. Someone finally brought you the new cloak you've been trying to get. It is waiting for you on the table in the north. Oh, I think uh, opening my inventory may have screwed up things slightly. Anyway, uh, let's go... Now that on the ground, a new cloak. There we go. Hmm. Groovy. Remember, this is a beta, so there could be weird stuff going on. Uh, but, 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 but it should be mostly good shape here. Hmm. You open the door, and you open the door. Oh, this place looks like it's been seen better days. We got a, a grate over there. It's probably not the way out. Hmm. All right, so uh, we unsurprisingly, your, your more supplies have been left for you. A flask sits on a nearby table. The shape of the flask identifies it as one of the hand Sazi's healing brewers. Two pieces of nuke in one day? Unheard of! There's a storeroom to the east. It's been mostly empty for months. Who knows? Maybe someone handy has appeared over there overnight. Or maybe something something handy. Hmm, so there's a peck. Star button. All right, so uh, we're going to put it here, and we're going to put in our, uh, our uh, quick... Use item things here, so uh, let's go uh, check out here. So, uh, we got so oh, we got a we got a short bow. Can I can I use this? I, I got yeah, I got that. We got iron javelins, cancubent. Well, we could probably sell these, right? Um, maybe not. Let's just leave it be, <laughs> and we can't equip that. So that's that's what that's about. Uh, can't, no, I can't can't take the armor off the stand. Alas. But that's fine. It's mostly just set dressings anyway. Alright, uh... I went outside. As you emerge into the chilly morning, you see Torch hobble towards you. Uh, I guess... Oh, that's his name. <laughs> his name is Torch, huh? You don't know his real name. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's not Torch. He seems rather worried, to be honest. Since you arrived in Camp Nightshade, everyone's only ever called him Torch. He's not a hand of Avedon, just a peck soldier assigned to defend this Avedon outpost. He's been here for a long time, and he has the scars to show it. He's too old and damaged to be sent on out on most patrols. He's usually here at home, helping out. He waves to you as you approach. Hail, Blort! Just coming out with the news of the day? Actually, surprise today. Actual, actual surprise today. Hmm. Ooh, a surprise? I'm going to try to use the keyboard here. Hmm. Torture laughs. No, not that much of a surprise. Still nothing from our masters. It's just that Commander Cerise uh, wishes to give you your guidance give you guide your guidance in person today. Um Is that bad news? Not for me, he laughs. Ha 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 I just tried to keep the commander from noticing me. It's how I'll still how I'm still alive, instead of just broken down. <laughs> Should be uh, going then. Uh torch Turns slowly, wincing uh, when his uh, weight lands on his right leg. Ah! Old wounds are hurting. You move on ahead. I'll hobble behind. I'm sure you want want to hurry and get your guidance. Hmm. He 
you now have a quest to find the commander and get your first mission. Destination will be marked on the map. By the way, uh, why, why do they call you a uh, torch? You seem saddened by the question. Camarian village attacked pack travelers a decade back. I was part of the punishment team. Went into the village, pretty poor her there. Uh, the buildings uh, were mostly wood. I had to get their attention. Got my nickname because of that. I see. So you burned down a village. Shakes his head. Hope you have a better day than that. Have to go. He hobbles off. Hi, Torch. You chat with Torch a little. He fills you with uh, gossip. So now I know why he's called Torch, and it's a little depressing. Uh, what's over here? <laughs> uh, there's a camp night shade storage. Oh, where we're now in a storeroom. Neato. We have apparently some green goo. Got a chest. Bunch of spoons in it. Groovy. Yeah, we're on the, the other side of the thing here. Yeah. Right, I could use this? I got an achievement too. <laughs> Just called. Uh, I can use this apparently. Ah, yeah. oh, we got a shield here. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, put the shield on. Excellent. We're just gonna loot the place. Don't worry about me. Uh, I just don't seem to see my genius. I can get a clay pot. <laughs> I must take the clay pot and uh, give it to the guy in, in the in the the stables. To, no, that's a different kind of quest here. Uh, blankets, animal skin. Can be sold in a store. I will take that. I'll take that all the way to the store. Uh, this door is locked. Oh, I don't have lock picks to do it with. Eh? Yeah, I turned the wheel. Now I can go back to the place I was just at. <laughs> hmm. That's uh, a little confused by the, the architecture here, but uh, yeah, it's an old fortress. Maybe it's just sort of a, a weird setup here. We're going to go in here. Oh. Uh, this door is locked. Okay, this door is too complicated to be picked. Ah! I have a feeling this is our first quest. <laughs> and the, uh, the cobwebs suggest... Cows? No. Uh, spiders, perhaps. Moo. <laughs> Have I mentioned I, I, I love these games? A little de attention to detail, all this craziness here. Alright, uh, we got some manacles here. Got some cages. Got some stuff here. It's also locked here. Oh, we got some, some chests. Ooh, we got some weights. Uh, abacus. Hourglass. Potion of battle. Hmm. I'll take that. Never know when you might get in a battle. Candle. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Candle. Like the pillows. Not what I need. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, yes. Another unpickable lock, but that's fine. Alright, uh, we got Angsty Person Down's uh, Alchemical Workshop. Nightshade Guard. Greetings, Blort. Keep moving. <laughs> uh, a guard stops you when you try to enter the workshop. I'm sorry. And Commander uh, Cerise uh, doesn't want you to enter till you've spoken with you. Oh, and she wants to speak with you. Guard is in the hand. Uh, you can easily shove him aside. Uh, but uh, you decide uh, not to cause trouble. It's been such a nice, quiet day after all. Let's uh, see if this is uh, Cerise's area here. Uh, information center. Information. Would you like a bucket of water? No, I would not like a bucket of water. All right, uh, we got the Eye of Avedon. Let's go. News of Redbeard. Hmm. Hand Sharon here. Uh, all right, so uh, you meet a Hand of Avedon. The young sorcerer, still a teenager, judging by his uh, face, is dressed in fine fashion. Uh, his shoulder is carefully embroidered with Avedon symbol, with two small white letters, NB, underneath. Um, noob brother? Uh, not betrothed? Hmm. Uh, he greets you, you, you with a, uh, you know, a broad smile and an eager handshake. Greetings. You must be Blort. I'm new to camp. My name is Charon. Much more elegant name than Blort. <laughs> Blort. Uh, his lack of scars and uh, clean new clothes must mean he's fresh to the war also. Ah, uh, so, um, what do you do here? Whatever I adon wants. You should speak with him. He is in here somewhere. He is very good at conscri conscripting anyone who gets within reach. Hmm, nice robes. Thanks, gifts from my parents. They wanted to make sure I stayed warm and dry, so I have more than that I need. 
Do you uh, need any clothes? Pants, perhaps? I have plenty. <laughs> You're trying to offload your pants? Well, hmm, I was excited about pants, so sure, I can always use more pants. Ha 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 ha. You won't. <laughs> he beams at uh, you uh, to thank him. Clearly pleased to be able to share. Uh, let's see what we have. Charon takes you to his large personal chest. It's full of new clothes, sweaters, socks, tunics, and many pairs of pants. Say looks like, well, uh, after him, well. Here you go, Charon's you find leather pants. Free of mud stains and patches over the knees. Uh, uh, so are you a new hand? His uh, chirks tur cheeks turn red. Yes, this is my first assignment. Now, since I've taken his pants, uh, no, um, mm, uh, I've only trained until now. I'll make Avadon proud. Count on it. Ah, uh, the boundless enthusiasm of loose, youthful inexperience. Remember it well. What does the NB stand for? Northbrow. It's an uh, outfitter's shop my parents uh, own back home. Good stuff. Soft and breathable yet strong. And warm when you need to be warm. And cool when you need to be cool. Like, awesome. Like, Thawne's guy, eh? Uh, he holds out his sleeves and encourages you to feel the material. What you do? Uh, he would make a good salesman. After it starts to feel awkward, you stop. Charon clearly does not mind you pawing at him. Where is home? Well, um, Kelm Derel. I'm never going to pronounce that correctly. Kelm Derel. Uh, my parents have a home in the capital, but I mostly grew up on the farm uh, out, you know, with, with my grandparents. Hmm, why didn't you live with your parents? Were they too awful to you? Uh, he frowns. It was for the best. They were busy running our business. Northbrow, the finest of Kellum tra tailors. Travelers fr uh, from all over the continent to buy our goods. And came come from all over the continent to buy our goods. He shrugs and smiles, returns to his uh, face. I have no complaints. The farm is great. Plenty of fresh air, good food, and playtime. Uh, when not with my uh, tutors. You have private tutors? Sounds expensive. Hmm. Uh, he looked down, Charlie. My family's business has made us wealthy. Magical fraternity is expensive. I've been lucky to get everything I could want. I realize most are not so fortunate. I have another question. Actually, no, I don't. We've run out of options that I haven't already selected. So, uh, like in the, some of the previous things, we got a little, little pedestals here. Uh, and as a book about Chimeria, uh, the uh, entry's been added to your, your journal co codex. Alright, so uh, where's my, my codex here? Journal! There we go. So I got my codex. Which, has, which, as I go adventuring, will have various things here uh, to do. So there are tribes, old ways. Hmm. Tricks the East, like building of the empires. Hmm. Groovy. Uh, the Wilderim is now part of the pact, and the Chimerians pay, uh, paid uh, yearly tribute to them. Then the Age of Chaos began, and the uh, brutal, rapacious hordes of the Chimerians run wild in the Wilderim once again. <gasps> oh no. Hmm. Yes, uh, as you play this game yourself, you can read all these things. I'll be doing that probably off. Off camera. Doo -doo -doo. What's over here? And I open the door. Seems to be the water storage. I like to store water. Hmm. Hello. Uh, I am loyal to the pack now. Uh, you drop in to see I Undun, one of the few eyes of Aradon permanently stationed here. Eyes are spies, sages, and commanders, and they are far less numerous than hands. Because the, yeah, the many-handed one has a far reach. <clears throat> anyway, uh, uh, Adun is uh, also unique. He is of a native uh, Svorgald, a faraway island of savage sailors and raiders. So he's a pirate. Neat. He bears the tattoos and scars of members of that particular far land. Um, now he is a loyal, joyal, jovial servant of the pact. He walks up and clamps uh, you on the arm. Greetings, Blort. Busy time? Yes. Feel in air? Yes. Less spying, more fighting, less for me, more for you. You wait for Adun to uh, send you out to gather some fresh intelligence, as he does every single time he sees you. Uh, I'd like to know more about the Svorgaldi. Svorgaldi is a far land. Enemy, yes. My enemy now. Sad, but it is. Would tell you one time the tale of my being here. It is a long tale of drama. Um, so describe your people. People of sea, fierce raiders. We are born and die in water. Jolly fighters. Ha ha ha. Maybe foolish at times. Too foolish, yes? Our life was raiding in the rich lands of the pact. Of pact, and now is this age of chaos. Old ways are new again. I'd like to hear your story. 
Ah, but as I say, story is long, and I must concentrate on scrolls. Much is happening. Cerise uh, tells me Avedon orders, ma orders many maps. Must be ready, yes? Don't displease, Keeper, yes? Avedon gave you orders? Yes, message came today. Needs sets of maps. Troop movements, something happening in Camaria. This I know. I have another question. Uh, so what do you do for this camp? I am an Eye of Avedon, sent here special a year ago to watch east parts of Camaria. Send you hands out for information. Send to Avedon. Get orders back. Ordinary way of things, yes? Hmm, you've had order. Uh, do you need information now? Oh, almost always. You know me. Always asking. Always busy. Sword Gaudi are not lazy people. Uh, sure, there is more you could do. Give it a spare moment. Uh, you have orders? Uh, recently, but only recently. Before, I was silenced from Avedon for a year. Had to direct my own research. Very worrying. Hard to keep happy attitude. Is there anything else? Uh, you're trying to learn right now. Hmm, right now. And gathering and sorting and copying and collating what I have learned from last year. Things are happening. Must answer commands of Black Fortress. You will uh, not be able to uh, do this until you can leave camp. Yes? I'm sure the commander will give you permission soon. There are wolves to the northeast of Camp Gate. Wander around. Look at things. Odd behavior. Find out what is wrong with them. Let me know. Uh, what makes you think you're dangerous? Are they purple and being ordered around by a wizard? Could be in hostile shamans near, commanding them, Camarian raiders, Wilderim rebels. Could be either. This near camp, not a good thing, no? Well, well, what exactly should I do? Wolves seem distracted, confused, as if controlled by Mafar. Standard magical signs. Follow the wolves. Maybe see a thing of value to know. Will I be paid? Of course. Is a way of the hand to be paid for risk and reward and work. Uh, is a way of the eye to have much to pay out. I don't wear sc uh, scarabs, yes? No need. Aren't there anything else? I think we're good here. So now I got a side quest. Adon's intel uh, Adun's intelligence. Uh... Which are my question sometimes, but uh, I, Adun, is uh, the best spy master Cam Nightshade, and uh, re re revere him for his ability to pay generous rewards for the intelligence to gather. Uh, there are numerous wolves uh, lurking around the camp. Adun uh, thinks uh, you, uh, they are a tool of the enemy. Shamans, uh, see if you can follow uh, one of the wolves to the northeast of the camp. Uh, uncover and deal with uh, any spies that it leads you to. Hmm, groovy. So now I got things to do. So I got another random eye. Got a globe. Neat. Uh, that was all the packed. All right, cool, cool, cool. Got a little door over here. Can I go check it out? Nope, I need to un try to unlock it. I can use you. Ah. Another little bit of information. Age of Chaos. Might include spoilers. Hmm. What do we got over here? Uh, a vase that... Wait, it's, it's, you know, it's uh, something you could sell. And we got a little... This box is full of old records, forgotten crumbling skulls, but uh, most dating from decades ago or more. Pretty useless, you do find something interesting buried in pine. It's rusty iron key on a leather thong. You take it. Hmm. No, not that kind of thong, people. This is like old school, like, loop of leather, that sort of thing. All right, I think we're about done with this bit of uh, room here. Let's uh, get going. Got a commander to talk to, after all. Hmm. Ah, uh, so I'm going to guess underground cells, maybe this way? Safe hunting, that's the, the main gate. Uh, you pass the stream and approach the main entrance of Camp Nightshade. As usual, it is quite under uh, populated and tense. Your camp has much terrain to the control and a few resources to do it. It's a pretty uh, serious place. You take your familiar walk to the commander's office to get your guidance. Most of the facilities are burrowed uh, into the wall of this remote ravine. The commander is the moldy war into the southwest. Hmm, it's just a little tense here. I don't have to deal with that. Greetings. Hmm. Commander's office. All right, let's, let's go talk to the commander. So uh, I think for, uh, for these, uh, our little uh, adventure here, we'll start off with whatever the commander asks, and then maybe we'll uh, call it a day. But I do plan to be streaming some of this, maybe the other series as well. Uh, you know, I'll, I guess maybe for the next, uh, you know, starting Saturday, I'll be uh, doing some streams of uh, uh, Avedon 3, and you can check those out on uh, my Twitch channel, Dr. Izix as well, D-R-I-Z-I-X-S. Just like here on YouTube. <laughs> as part of your routine... Uh, I got a new item in my inventory, apparently. Uh, part of your routine, uh, you approach the desk of Commander uh, Cerise. Uh, like most of the warriors here, she is a soldier of the Pact. 
Not to fall the hand of Avadon. Wounds in the past battles limit her ability to stray far from the camp. As you approach, she is making notes on a scroll with her right hand. Her left hand was burned into a claw by a spell years before. Though this has not hampered her leadership ability or her ability to cast powerful magic, magic herself. You consult her scroll as you approach. Ah, Blort, yes. I have guidance for you. Urgent, unusual. She seems even more nervous than usual today. You seem ill at ease. Aye, Blort, we'll make that better. Cerise leaned back into her seat, sighs, and looks at her across at you. It is difficult to band a fort when all of your hands are not under my command. You are both the law, my law. Hmm. But this, that is not why I'm nervous. Something is going on. What is happening? I am getting messages from Avadon. New hands are coming. I am getting orders. I am warning you, you should be prepared for action. Um, do you think these people aren't legit? Hmm. I'd like to know more about you. I'm a mage from the Kellum. Uh, I'm joined the army to protect the pact. I was good at my job. Redbeard heard of me. He decided that I would serve here. Be useful. Useful? How? He looks at her ruined hand. Sometimes I fight. Mostly I create a base for you so you don't have to worry about the petty details of life. Uh, then you can go out and uh, you can do the harsh work. I also give guidance. And when there are no fresh orders to Avedon. Hmm. So uh, why did you not become a hand? Other than... Well, you only have one. Uh, she doesn't seem to think about it. I wasn't willing to take on the responsibility. I like the comfort of uh, getting orders. Uh, I don't want to make a, all the grim choices hands have to. Uh, how do you decide what guidance to give? Avedon wants the pack to be strong and stable. I do too. I'll look around and see what would make Avedon stronger, and then I would uh, make suggestions. Guidance. Uh, so what gu would happen if I don't follow your guidance? Nothing, I suppose. You are handed out on your word is law, as they always say. She sounds tired. She has given this uh, little speech to many young hands before you. However, I am here because the keeper of Avadon trusts me. If you ignore my advice and something goes wrong, you have to answer to your harsh master. I find this provides the hands great motivation to respect me. I have another question. So, uh, what guidance do you have for me today? Hmm. Uh, Cer uh, Cerise sh shudders. Serious guidance. Serious, man! This is serious business! Got a drink here. Mm. Mm. The sort the, might uh, be unwise to neglect. The gaze of Avedon is on us. We have received word to the Black Fortress. Two new hands have arrived. Uh, you have an actual muster from Avedon? Yes, for the first time in months. Me, I am nervous. You, you should be afraid. Who are the new hands? Their names are Nathalie uh, 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 and Botan. They are in the hand camp. Hmm, hand camp. Hmm. Uh, this is a, a short walk to the east. I have barely spoken to them. They are as agitated as I am. They have asked me to send you to speak with them before I give you more guidance. Please do so. I don't want any uh, angry hands. Uh, I think you will work. You you will work together. All right, cool. All right, so uh, we we got our thing here. Uh, Cerise's guidance. I would always begin to take new interest in the lowly camp nightshade. Commander Cerise has uh, received orders to the uh, Black Fortress, and she needs your help. Two new hands have arrived from Avadon. Their names are Nathalie uh, and Botan. And uh, is it Natalie? Let's go with Natalie. Uh, and they are in the hand camp. And go over there to beat them. All right, well, that seems like a pretty thing. Pretty easy thing. Uh, Linnaeus, what's over here? Ah, some sort of barracks. Can I steal your stuff? No. Yeah, we got more more things to add to our dealios. The far lads. Hmm. And our shape guard. What do we got here? Ooh, a fine cloak. Is it better than my current one? R plus three? Plus five. Hell yeah! This one's, uh, you can't even sell this one, right? Yeah, so we got a new cloak. We're gonna take these leather greaves as well. Because uh, this is one of the things we were... Hmm. And again, they don't really have much in the way of crotch protection. But, you know, you know. Uh, can't really... <laughs> should be without a nice, freshly laundered pair of pants. Well, I got... Pants that don't exactly cover much here. Um, let's get uh, exploring over here. Get more info boxes. I gotta lock pick these. Ah, shade guards. So the camp Niger are very busy, and thus they need to, to maximize the relaxation time. That's why the commander in this room and made a, a steam room out of it. <laughs> Spent a lot of uh, hours in here. At last right now, you don't have the time. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Is that like uh, flowers or incense here? Uh, Dreed flowers. Eh. It's like the the old uh, 
you know, sort of Russian style or whatever it was, where you like hit people with plants or something like that. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here. We got a uh, quest to uh, to accomplish here. Ooh, a box. And an outhouse. Finally, we can go to the bathroom. <laughs> So if I never need to go to the bathroom, I need to come back to camp here, no matter if I'm across the world or anything like that. Got it. I, I, I always kind of like make fun of a lot of a lot of role-playing games and such. Uh, flint and steel. Don't know if I'll need it, but cool. Uh, you know, they tend to uh, forget that people need to use the restroom sometimes. Oh, we have got another one. Sweet. Uh, so it gets a little, a little silly that you got all these uh, buildings and there's no bathrooms. I guess it's a certain medieval society, so they choose chamber pots. <coughs> That's why there's buckets everywhere. But you know, hmm. let me get another drink here. This is the hand encampment. Every Abaddon camp has one. This is where visiting hands rest, prepare their gear, and w wait for new work. When outsiders want to hire hands to do whatever, it's good to have them in one place. It's been pretty empty for the last year. This is why you were su uh, surprised to see new hands here. A sorceress and a shadow walker. They're both uh, absorbed in their work. Groovy. Hello, Botan. Uh, you got a neat haircut. Uh, you meet another hand of Avedon. Uh, this young shadow walker sits cross-legged by the fire, uh, sharpening his sword. He is still dirty from the road. Uh, he is very uh, young. Uh, the, uh, you, you were older when you began your, your training. When uh, you, were, you were older when you began your training than he is now. But he is, already has the calm, tired demeanor of an experienced uh, campaigner. With the age of chaos... When war has spread to every corner of the known land, soldiers get jaded fast. He looks up from you and frowns. I don't know you, but you are a hand. Are you Blort? You nod. I am Botan. Commander Cerise told me to find you. Cerise said you would come. He sets his blade uh, to the side and motions for you to sit. He takes a sip of the ale from one of your nearby bottles and motions for you to join him, if you wish. Uh, she has given me her guidance. Uh, you may choose me or Na uh, Natalie to help. He nods at a sorcerer's wait sitting by a nearby fire. This works uh, will be a refreshing change. Ah, so what do you think of our guidance? She is not our hand, but we you know we don't have to be do what she says. However, I will happily take her advice if I think it is wise. Uh, right now, it is wise. Opening up that legendary laboratory might be a very wise idea. is not elaborate. Uh, why is it a refreshing change? I prefer to spend some time killing things that aren't begging me to for mercy. It is more peaceful. So, you're a, you're a crazy killer guy. Okay. Uh, you are head of Avedon. I am trained and tested in the field. How long have you been a hand? He calmly meets your gaze. Not long. Like a few days. Uh, <laughs> a little less than two years. I came to Avedon after Redbeard was thrown out. Acting keeper Proteus selected uh, me himself. Uh, do not let my uh, age concern you. I am fully trained and tested in the field. Uh, where have you served? Everywhere. I am... I am based in Avedon, and Kira Proteus uh, used the portals to send me wherever assassination was required. I worked very hard, then I got, uh, was granted a brief uh, rest period, and then I was was diverted. Diverted? I had completed the mission, and my commander told me to come here. I am not sure why. I am here now and eager to help. I have another question. So what can you do for me? I am a shadow walker. I use my tools and weapons in battle. I am trained as an assassin. I slip in and kill quickly. Uh, if trapped, I escape and uh, strike uh, from smoke and shadows. Botan lifts his tunic. He wears armor underneath it. I do not shrink from a fight. However, I can't withstand direct battle, as well as the uh, Blade Master can. If Cerise uh, offers you my aid and you uh, wish it, please come to me. You are. Uh, all right, yeah. So, cool. That's all I need for now. All right. I suspect that I may... I was stationed here for some time. I think we'll uh, have time to speak later. For now, I sense that things are about to become very hectic. Before you can ask him about to elaborate, he grabs a disc and starping so and returns to work. Groovy. And, uh, so has got a bunch of random things in here. Ooh, let's, let's grab the vase and the chain mail. Uh, tunics. All right, so, so definitely improvement here. Uh, can we sell this? No. <laughs> like pants for your chest. <laughs> Oh, we got a, uh, a nice iron sword as well. It's, uh, yeah, it's not like a crazy blade of some sort here. I'm pretty sure that's pretty useless here. All right, anything else we want to grab here? Bottle of ink. Hmm. Can also grab the second one here. And we'll leave that on the ground for now. If we need me, we can go through and raid everything. And <laughs> you are apparently sleepwalking, lady. Um, not sure how to feel about that. 
Adley, what's up? What's this over here? Uh, you meet one of the two hands who have just arrived in Camp Nightshade. She is a uh, Kellum maid. She is only slightly older than you, but she has seen, but she seems much older. Part of this is because of her wounds. Uh, she moves as if she's been in many battles. Her left arm bears a savage burn, very similar to the one Commander Cerise has. She points to the chair opposite from you. She looks at you when you sit, but she barely seems interested. Hello, are you the hand I will be helping? Sorry, I've been passed around to so many hands, you see. Let's make the introductions. I am Natalie. Commander Cerise told me to, to find you. Isn't that neat? Then you are Blort. Cerise told me about you. She seems competent. She is also tormented by a wound like mine. I can sympathize. Anyway, I'm Natalie. I'm a sorceress. I have a lot of experience. If you need my help, I am here. So, uh, how did you burn your hand? Fighting a drake. A clever one. She trapped me with a spell. It's a long story. Happened years ago. It's a very common wound for sorcerers in, my, in war, though. She holds out uh, her hand before her. Uh, we always fight like this. Makes sense, yes? Anyways, what do you want? So, you like a hand? I am. I have since well before the Age of Chaos. I have even served Redbeard directly. She, my record, is strong. I do not... I do very well with what little I have allowed. Uh, so, how long have you been a hand? I was accepted into the service of Avedon in 6312. That means she became a hand where, when still in her mid-teens. Extremely young, as if she uh, sensed your thoughts. She said, I showed a lot of promise when I was very young. Don't worry, nobody thinks I have great potential anymore. So, uh, where have you served? I have been in every state of the pact, in every far land. When I was in Navadon, they looked for an ex in excuse to send me out again. I was training some recruits in Hoklanda when I was told to come here. Who told you to come? The orders were unsigned. It bore the seal of Navadon. Told me to come here immediately. I did not question it. The training was boring me, so I was eager to leave. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Uh, so what can you do for me? I can summon searing flames or clouds at uh, the minds of the far foes. However, I function best at a distance. If some big warrior steps uh, types aren't uh, keeping the enemy away, you can find your uh, find that I won't be very useful because I will be dead. So that's depressing. It's <laughs> all I need for now. Now uh, Natalie nods. I will resume my studies. These scrolls are all I am allowed, so I will do what I can with them. You, the two ha new hands are in your roster. You can now uh, change their inventory when you're in Avedon Mace. Now that you've spoken with them, you can return to Command uh, Commander Cerise. Neat. I've completed my first quest. Mm, the day is mine. Let's get out of here. We'll, we'll deal with selling, stealing everybody's vases later. Let's go uh, talk to Commander Cerise, and I'll uh, probably uh, end up the video here. Doo -doo. I know we haven't gotten quite to like the, the battle and the combat yet, but... Uh, you know, that's why you come visit me on the stream. I'll also probably be uh, uh, posting the, ex uh, the the highlights of this as I go through it as the time be. So I just wanted to do a sort of intro video here without the craziness of all the streamness and the inconsistencies with Twitch, you know. Uh, so, what is it, Blort? Do you need help with your with your guidance? Um, I've spoken to Natalie and Botan. They seem all right. Cerise nods. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. Now then, uh, the message from Avedon is fairly simple. They want something. It seems like a simple thing, but that does not reassure me. Hmm. So, what does Avedon want? They asked me to make sure that our ma magical workshop is open and cleared out. Currently is not. This is Avedon's fort, so I'd rather send hands in there. Might be secrets after all. Uh, I will have to unlock it for you. If you want, uh, you want to please your truce masters, I'd go in there and clear out any stray pests that still have in there. You have a magical workshop? Of course, all Avedon outposts have them. It's been sealed up for a few years, but I've always uh, known it would need to be cleaned up eventually. So, why was it sealed up? Was it like, was there zombies? Uh, one of Avedon's eyes went in there about ten years ago to do some experiments or others. There was an explosion and screams and monsters. You know how those things go. Redbeard's protocols were very clear in this case. We all sealed it up. Because we didn't want to deal with this problem ever again. <laughs> now it's been unsealed. Uh, can I keep anything I find? Cerise shrugs. Why not? It's your fort. Can anyone help me? Botan and Natalie are at your disposal. Uh, they don't have much to do. One of them can help you uh, clear the place out. When you end the workshop, uh, you'll be allowed to form your party. You can choose who will accompany you. Hmm. Cool. So now I got my, uh, my, my next quest. Hmm. 
hmm, do I, do I want to clear it out here? I don't know, it's getting pretty late here. Uh, so I will leave this quest for the stream uh, on the morrow, uh, assuming I can get this all on Friday. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for joining me. This has been Dr. Izix with a sort of, you know, intro, uh, you, know, you know, first impression sort of thing here. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yes. Welcome back to the world of Avedon. Hmm. And we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. Till next time, everybody. Turtles. Woohoo!